the Spring Sizzler officially becomes a tradition, but with different leadership at the helm. What began a year prior to much success continues in 1973 with the second annual Spring Sizzler at the Stafford Motor Speedway, but with new faces promoting the event. Year one saw Dick Bergeron, Lou Boyd, and Bruce Cohen develop and execute the concept, but the trio quickly handed the Sizzler baton off to track owner Jack Aroot, who retained the event to open the 1973 season. Like 72, the teams and cars would show up, 140 of them in fact, to qualify for the 33 available starting spots. Five heat races opened the day, with Gene Bergen, Richie Evans, Ed Flemke, Paul Radford, and Maynard Troyer all claiming their respective heat race wins. Jerry Dosti and the inaugural Sizzler winner Fred DeSero won the consolation events. DeSero raced in the Conci after suffering a flat tire in his heat race. Bergen led the opening laps of the 80 lap feature, but it was Ed Flemke on lap 3 making the pass to become the race's second leader. Behind them, DeSero was slicing through the field, and by lap 20, Old Blue was in the top 5. At the halfway point, Flemke felt pressure from Bouchard, DeSero, and Troyer, but was able to fend off all challenges. Bouchard's race would end with a flat tire on lap 41 during a caution for a spin by Ray Hendrick. Over the closing laps, a classic was in the making once again between two of the great modified teams, Ed Flemke and team owner Bob Judkins and Fred DeSero with team owner Len Bowler. At the checker flag though, it was Flemke claiming the win in front of a sold out crowd with 1972 winner DeSero finishing second and Maynard Troyer rounding out the podium in third. Flemke and Judkins had also won the season opener before at Stafford. Actually, it was Stafford's first ever paved race in 1967, and they repeated in 1968 as well. The day concludes with a quote from promoter Jack Aroot saying, It was a nice day to smile. Mark your calendars for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100 lap open modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races and the past super late Model 75 on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.